Go ahead, Keith. Hey, Brad. Um, is it when you played as well as you did yesterday? Is it a good thing to have a back-to-back game and be able to get right back out there and try to carry that over for another night? Uh, I mean, that's a good question. I, I mean, I think you'd always um, you'd always say that there's benefit in playing when you feel good, right? But I think there's benefit in being able to turn the page off of a bad game too. So um, that can go both ways. I don't, I don't know that there's any. It's kind of like we we always say in, in coaching that you know some of our best games have been some of our worst shoot arounds and vice versa, right? There's just uh, there's never an exact science to it. Um, but I'd say generally, um, you know, felt better to play the way we played yesterday, and so spirit is um, good, and we we have to carry that over to a to a tough game tonight. Tim Bontemps. Hey Brad, I was just curious, given we're a couple weeks in with Romeo with the protocols, if he was able to come on the trip or if you had any sense if he'd be able to join you on the trip. Uh, my impression is, is that it's hard to join up on these trips um, just with all the protocols that there are, but he hasn't even, um, he has not been cleared to rejoin us regardless. So, and I think there's usually a few days of in between the time you're cleared and the time you actually do. So, uh, we're not, we're not going to see him on this trip, uh, hopefully sooner rather than later. Gary Washburn. Hey, Brad, I just want to know what you're seeing from Aaron. It seems like Aaron just gives so much effort defensively. He's flying all over the court, trying to make plays. I mean, what has been your impression of how he's kind of become uh, more of a defensive player? And he's, his shot's coming, but it seems like defense is something he's focusing on. Well, Gary, I've said from the get-go is the challenge for guys like him and, you know, especially young, young shooters that come into the league is just adjusting to the speed of the game and the contests of these guys at this level. Um, but he is a he is a great worker, um, and he has really worked hard to say, even if I'm not, you know, scoring the ball um, like I'd like um, or even if I'm not, you know, if, I, if I'm learning where my spots are offensively, I can still impact the game in other ways. And that for him has been being um, a, a reliable multiple effort defender and, you know, some offensive rebounding, you know, and, he, and he's probably the best of our wings at crashing the glass um, from the opposite corner. And I think that that's something that, you know, is a valuable thing to carry with him as he moves on. Those can be separators. Those guys that can give a couple of possessions a game. You know, I think it's very obvious that none of those young guys have really separated themselves from the others um, off our bench. Uh, but I do think that what Aaron has brought to the table is encouraging. And I believe strongly in his work and um, who he will become for sure. Jay King. Brad, it's been a while since you guys have won on the second night of a back-to-back. -back. Just what have been the challenges of playing with without Kemba and it was without Smart for a while? And What do you guys need to do better um, to kind of survive those nights? Well, it's harder without two, two of those guys, right? I mean, we've had several of those games here in that stretch. Um, that said, you know, I think that uh, we, we have always kind of hung our hat on, at least our good teams have, um, of being resilient and being able to play well on these second night of back-to-backs. We started the year off great, second night of back-to-backs, and have not been good in the past month. Um, in most of those games, you know, you're missing Kimba and Smart, obviously. But I think, uh, you know, we, we just have to have other people step up. We have to be able to, um, just like we talked about all week, you have to engage in each other, play together, move on to the next play. Don't expect it to be perfect. Um, and then really be better late than we've been. I mean, it's the formula that doesn't change just because you played yesterday. Um, and you have to have a, you know, a, the ability for guys that are fresh to impact the game, and guys that aren't to, to be tough and play the next play well. Final question for Coach Abby Chin. Hey, Brad. Um, Marcus played. I think 32, 33 minutes last night. What's the latest with his minutes restriction? Is there still one? No. No, he's not Clearly. restricted. Okay. All right. We'll wrap it up right there. Thanks, Coach. Yep.